Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title, I am about to reorganize. So, I have work today, but I didn't do this yesterday because of time. So, I'm going to do it today because it's been bothering me. But, we are here at my bookshelf. And I have my back camera on, so I can't see what I'm doing. So, we'll see how this video turns out. But, I have my bookshelf. And basically... It can fit it's like you can put cubicles here or cubbies or whatever and so it's like a tad uneven so if I flip it around I should have more room to at least fit one more or two more books so yeah because I'm running out of space my wall shelves are full I changed my books around a little bit because I added a few more to my collection and so I don't necessarily totally like the way things are organized so i'm just gonna flip this around so i can have more space because when i tell you i'm running out like my book stack on my dresser is taller so <laughs> we're just gonna do that and hopefully it turns out good i am watching injustice right now which is a dc animated movie that came out this year i'm just gonna watch that as i do this and this book is not my book by the way this I'm borrowing this because Yasmin, if you're watching this, I did not get to this yet, but I don't have a current read right now. So I'm going to try to get through this because I also have other books I want to read. But since she wanted me to read this, I'm going to probably read this next, which is I Am Not Your Perfect Mexican Daughter. So yeah, if you guys read that book, tell me how that, how you liked it, if you did. I really hate this thing. Um, I hate this thing so much. It just gets dusty all the time. But I'm just going to move this. Yeah, I'm just going to... This is a bookmark. I'm just going to take out everything and then flip this. And unpause my movie. So I'm about to go, okay, Harley, I'm about to go get something to dust this off. Okay, so my mom just bought a duster yesterday, so I'm just going to use that and glue this off the wall. And yeah, just quickly, oh, this is saving me a lot of time versus using a rag to dust. Okay. I hate when it's all dusty and my books are... Dusty. We are just going to flip this around. When we first moved into this house, this got scratched up during the moving process, which sucks. So, yeah. Hopefully, this is right. Hopefully this fits enough books. Let me see. I'm going to test it out by putting this whole thing on here. Uh, actually, it is. How many times did he escape to kill It gives again? like literally care? the smallest bit of room. Because the other way, it's like packed in tight. But this way, it like moves loosely. So I have these wall shelves up here. And the one where Legendborn is at. I'm, I low-key want to keep that the same because I like the way it looks, but the Red Queen one, nah, I don't like that one. Over here at my dresser with the white, we have, as you can see, my new edition, Shatter Me and um, the Summer I Turn Pretty trilogy. And so this is my little stack, but I'm about to take this to join the others. And then on the floor over here, these are two books that I don't want. I want to read Scythe. I just don't like the condition I bought it in. Yeah, I want to get like a brand new Scythe. I don't like that condition because I bought it at a library because they were like giving away books for like very cheap. And then the other book on top of Scythe, I just simply don't want. So I'm going to give that away to the same girl who I'm borrowing the Perfect Mexican Daughter book from. So here's my book stack. And then here is my black books. I am actually gonna take all the books from 
my um wall shelf down even though the one with the legend board i could just put that back up the same if i want to so i'm just going to take those down real quick also got realm breaker last week i think so that's a new addition okay guys so these are all my books just piled on the floor okay guys so when it comes to organization of my books i don't really have like i'm not too specific the only thing i really care about is keeping series together and try to keep authors together in like books that i have read and books that i have not read i try to keep them a bit separate even though like just in case i'd be like wait did i read this book even though that never has really happened to me still just in case it does i would like to keep them separate you know sometimes they mingle in though so i don't know but yeah so that is what i'm gonna try to do and i'm just gonna try to figure out where i want things placed so yeah um yeah <laughs> Okay, so my brother is bothering me, but I'm about to take the Target stickers. Move. I'm about to take the Target stickers off of these two. Okay, got the stickers off successfully. I This is such a brick, but it's like, it's floppy. So you can't really say it's a brick. It's just a thicky. I love the floppiness. I do not like when a book is stiff. Like for instance, the atlas six but it is self-published though so i can understand that yeah it's a bit stiff but whatever okay guys so this is what i have Let's pretend this book is gone. And this is what we have. We just have my Bible stuff next to my bed. And then we have mystery. These are murder mysteries. I don't know if House of Hollow is a murder mystery, but I do know it's like some weird mystery junk that's just like weird or something. And then the Atlas Six, which... I don't know if it's necessarily mystery, but it's dark academia. So like it goes with the whole dark death mystery vibe. So we just have that up here. And I really want to read all of these. I know I th I'm planning on doing a video with there's someone inside your house because Netflix came out with the movie and I want to watch the movie, but I'm not going to watch it unless I read the book first. So I was thinking about doing like a reading vlog slash movie thing with this so y'all let me know how y'all feel about that and then i'm really excited to read a good girl's guide to murder but i realized that it's a trilogy and i don't want to hop into another series without finishing the one i'm in so i need to boss up and read crooked kingdom so yeah then you see what we got going on here now, when I buy Rule of Wolves, and I'm also planning on buying the hardcover of King of Scars, 
because that was my original plan, but I got too excited and bought this one, the paperback. So yeah, I'm gonna buy the hardcover of King of Scars and Rule of Wolves. So when I get those, I'm gonna have to do a switcheroonie around somewhere. So that, oh, that's gonna be something else, but this is gonna work for now. Then we have the Red Queen, Victoria Aveyard, her whole section right here. Because like I said, I want to keep series and authors together. So that's what I have. And then I have the Folk of Air uh, series and Lore, which is just a standalone. Which standalones, my rule is they get in where they fit in. So they don't have necessarily a specific place to go. We have this, this section stayed the exact same. No changes have been made. And the only changes that really have been made to this section is I put the Wrath and the Dawn there. I replaced the Atlas Six with the Wrath of the Dawn. So that's what I did. Over here at, as y'all recognize as my filming area, I have done plenty of videos over here, but I just put Shatter Me and, um, these two books because the colors match with my yellow dresser shatter me just had to get in where it fit in because it ain't go it couldn't go nowhere else but it looks fine the blue looks nice or whatever and this is like my little contemporary except for shatter me i only own this is contemporary this is contemporary and blackout but blackout belongs in the black section because it's black and yeah so i only own like three contemporary books then we have my wall shelves, which I put all the Stephanie Garber things, which is, she only has these four books out. So I can't wait to read Once Upon a Broken Heart. I would like if it were to go right here, but it's too big and it just doesn't look right with it blocking the smaller books. Then Renegade just fit in where it got. This section stayed the same because I like the way it looks. And we have Legendborn right here which I saw the cover for the second book and it looks so good. But the only problem I have with it is that Brie looks totally different face wise. Like they changed her face completely. So when the second books come out, I'm just, I'm not recasting her. I'm just gonna imagine her just like this. So, But that is really it guys. As you see, I got my movie in the background. But that is really it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.